Now it's really important to know whether your fish are skinny or fat. And for some fish, it's quite hard to tell whether they're skinny or fat. So if you were looking at this fish, and you may not realize, but you need to get a good view of the animal because if they are too skinny, then you can lose them. So if you do find that you've got a fish that's too skinny or too fat, then you do need to vary the amount of food that you're feeding and even the types of food that you're feeding. So this particular fella here may have been in a situation where it wasn't getting the food. So things like spectrum algae wafer would be very good to make sure that there was food getting down to this guy. So this guy was a trade-in, so I don't know his history, but it's quite often that these guys like to sleep underneath driftwood and so forth, and they are often nocturnal, so they'll often sleep in the daytime. So often you won't get a very good look at them, but it's very important to take an interest in your fish. And if you notice them getting fat, you need to reduce their food. If you notice them getting skinny, then you need to either vary the food that you're feeding or feed more. So if you do have fish getting skinny, particularly if they're nocturnal fish, um, your Spectrum Algae Max, the wafer is an absolute favorite of mine. Now the reason why I love the wafers is because they're water stable. So they take about 24 hours before they actually start to break down. So they're much cleaner than most other foods. Um, they've got a lot of algae in them, but they are okay for all sorts of fish. They are not strictly for herbivorous fish. You can feed it to any fish and get very good results because it is actually a completely balanced diet. So if you get skinny fish, adding some algae wafers, particularly at night time for your nocturnal guys, is a very good idea. Be aware of the fish's immune system. And if you need to, something like this fed more often is a great idea. So they get to pick and your slower feeders get a chance.